When starting Billmaster, your main menu will appear like this when set to dashboard mode. The dashboard mode can be set under the general settings of Billmaster for the account startup screen. Notice that your accounts are shown on the left hand side along with the balance and customer number. You can scroll up and down to view accounts and select from them with your mouse or you can type below the column headers for any text string search you like to easily and quickly find and locate your account. Notice that when selecting the account you can also use the arrow keys to go between accounts and move up and down to view them. On the right hand side is displayed the menu name along with bill to and job location addresses along with phone numbers. Likewise special notes or route notes will also appear. The transactions for the account will, will be shown in the most recent order first followed by older transactions below it. If there's any standard charge information which is the information containing the prices and the prices and frequencies for um, services you provide those accounts they would be listed here along with any routes that these accounts belong to. Along the top of the screen are choices to edit the account information to go in there and actually change any of the um, phone numbers or indicative information that's shown on this screen along with email addresses, site information, comments. These can all be changed from the account review screen. Standard charges will allow you to go in and add standard charges or change those prices for those services. And that can be set up here along with a frequency if it's a repeating charge that you'd like to schedule. Transactions are the transactions for the account as shown below, but here you can actually edit them and change them or add to them, along with estimates, calendar, or creating new accounts. For this demonstration, we'll show you how to create an invoice for the account. So select the account you wish to invoice and press the Fast Invoice button. This brings up the invoice entry screen. This has been configured to show the job descriptions on the left hand side for easy access. You could also type in your own job description if you didn't have one to fit your job that you're invoicing. Secondly, the first thing you should do is select the job location for the account. It defaults to the job location address here, but some accounts have multiple locations. If you've already entered in one of those locations, you can just simply press the blue bar here and select that new location. If you needed to enter a new location, you could press this button here, Add or Change Job Location, which again allows you to select from existing ones or simply enter in a new one. So I'll just enter in a new one. and press the Save New Job Location. Notice that it's, it's now selected on the right hand side. I'll select Pumped, put in a price, and tab over. Notice that it's automatically calculated with the tax. Also I'll select a worker. I could also type in the name of the worker if it, if it was not already in this drop down list. Now I'm ready to print the invoice. I'll just pr select this tab under Fast Keys and hit the Print INV button. Then I'll just press OK. The invoice is generated and the prices are shown with the correct job location. Also below that exists a tear-off sheet that the customer can uh, provide back to you with payment. And that's how to create an invoice, change another job location if need be, 
and enter any charges that you'd like. You could also have entered additional charges and put in um, separate pricing for that as well. This is currently set up to show a letter T when tax is applied to the charge. All of this information can be found in the transaction file for the account. So if we press the transaction button, you'll notice that this, the pump charge is now shown here on the bottom. And any of their existing charges are shown above it. Payments are shown in blue. And other charges are also color color, but generally it's black for charges. These green charges represent non-taxed items. Anything that has sales tax is shown on the right hand side with the sales tax code and the amount of sales tax along with any technician and worker. They are also shown here in the transaction file. If you wish to search within the transaction file, again, this bar here is a search filter bar. If I type in here pumped, notice all the pumped transactions appear. It's a quick way to search. It's not for entry of new items. It's only for searching above this bar.